Bentley just teased us with another outing in the refreshed Continental GT, allowing us to show you the clearest photos of the car to date. While not fully uncamouflaged, these photos provide the best view of the car's appearance, which is expected to go on sale later this year. Based on what we're seeing, the headlights resemble either the looks of the Bentley Batter or the Bacala, with the latter being the safe bet because of the oval shape and distinguished LED daytime running light stripe. Also new is the front bumper design. We can now see that it reaches higher up, so high that the headlights are actually fitted in the bumper instead of the front fenders. The grille looks slightly smaller or at least a bit lower than the current Continental GT but is more pronounced. Like the Bacala, it seems Bentley is updating its design language to feature the grille more, linking the styling back to classic Bentleys, like the Continentals of old. In the back, the rear lights have grown in length and wrap around more into the sides of the car. The rear fender line is more pronounced and tapers in with the rear deck, which is neatly tied together with a small lip spoiler. The trunk lid extends further down the back of the car, providing a slightly larger opening. Power is expected in the form of both V6 and V8 hybrid setups. The V8 Continental GT should keep pace with the current W12 version of the Mulliner. Producing 650 horsepower, it's good for a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in 3. 5 seconds and a 205 miles per hour top speed. The V6 would likely be part of a PHEV drivetrain like the one tested last year, but the V8 is also likely to get its own form of electrification. Interior changes are expected to be minimal, with the revisions primarily focused on revised trim, upholstery, and other materials. A revised infotainment system is also rumored to be in the works, allowing the new Continental GT to stay current like its competition from Aston Martin and Mercedes-AMG.